like many of you watch lovers, I've been hunting for what I'm hoping is going to be a watch that fits almost every category for me as close as possible to perfection. It's, it's looking, it's kind of like the value grail watch. I mean, there's grail watches, which are the really expensive ones. That if, if you're going to have any watch and you've got unlimited money, you're going to splash out and buy something ridiculous. You know, I'd, I'd get a uh, Patek Philippe, for example, uh, just because of the incredible craftsmanship and, and just beautiful history and everything that you would expect in terms of the world of horology. If I had unlimited money, I'd get a Patek Philippe. That would be what I'd get. But I don't have that kind of money. So there's a different set of principles I like to follow when it comes to searching for what I would like to think is the ultimate everyday watch. That I talk about it all the time with my good friend Jim. We, 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 we literally could talk for hours about it. It's such an amazing topic because you could get a dive watch and you think, well, I don't actually go in the water. So is a dive watch the ultimate everyday watch? You could make it so. People would argue yes. It's the ultimate everyday watch. You could, some people would say, well, for me, every day I'm always in a smart, formal situation. So a dress watch is my ultimate everyday watch. But I'm trying to be as broad as possible. I've done a little survey to ask you guys and other people what would be their value, the most valuable watch in their collection. A lot of people said between two to five hundred pounds or dollars or euros. They're all fairly similar nowadays with the currency exchange. It's giving you a ballpark of what to expect, what people are happy to spend. The average person with the average amount of money to spend on what they would be their, their really good watch or the watch they would just, if they would have one watch. It's really hard to make that choice of buying one watch. And I, that criteria is what I keep thinking about all the time. And for me personally, I don't go diving. I don't time things. I don't need a chronograph. I generally don't need to know about different time zones and things like that. I want my watch to be legible, rugged, reliable, versatile, comfortable, all those kind of things. And that's what I think about. I'm looking for a watch that satisfies all those needs without spending much money. And I found something I bought with my own money and it comes from America. And I am blown away with the quality of this watch and what it satisfies for me personally as a watch lover. I'm sharing with you my joy and my experience of finding something so wonderful and versatile for so little money. And I, I'm wondering if you'll agree with me or not. Now, this is a long intro because it's fitting in with what is a very important category for me. It's, this is a field watch. It's a special field watch because it does lots of the things I love about the design of a field watch, but brings it to modern standards. It's a contemporary field watch. And I think they've done an amazing job. So if you... I'm looking forward to seeing this video. Carry on, and I'll see you after this very short intro. So welcome to the Vea S5 Standard Issue. There's two versions. There's a Chinese made for $150, or it was $199 for one that's made or assembled in the USA. I went, just to save me even more money, I went for the um, non-USA assembled one. And I'm really happy with my choice. And what you get for your money, I'll just do an initial impression of what you get. You get this strap, which is the silicone, which is very soft, very well made. And you got the two keeps and the Vea logo. And you also get it with this strap. And I'll put it on that now for you to show you. There we are. So it's nylon. Um, and the other one is rubber. So what you get, you've got the option of two straps, which is fantastic. They're both quick release, which effectively is this little tab here you pull out and it's so quick and easy to remove the strap as easy as that and the idea is if you go to the beach and you want to go in the sea you can quickly strap do a strap change and you can do that so quick and easy you don't need any tools just take them both with you if you if you're that way inclined of course or you're just about to go out and you quickly want to change it out see how quick and easy that was no tools required i love quick release and here we are Ready for a, ready for a day at the beach or whatever. So, this watch came with obviously the two straps, and it came in this lovely big box. I thought this is a big box for a, quite an, a slim line quartz watch, but inside it effectively it's the watch is laid out flat like that, and the extra straps in there. So, nice packaging. I'd say for for the money, it's decent. I'm really impressed. It's good value for money, 
and really nice to get in a really nice little box. As I often do at the beginning of my videos, I like to just, just quickly discuss the stats and specs, etc. So you get an idea of what you're looking at here uh, for your money. And so, like I said, this cost me $150. You can get one that's made in the USA for $200. The difference, I don't know because I didn't buy two. But I thought to save a bit of money, I would get the one that's not assembled in America. So I'm going to get my good friend Gipas here to help us with the weight because I couldn't find that on the Tinder web. So this is only 61 grams. That's, that's a light watch because probably because it's a quartz and it's very thin. So that's a very light watch and I've worn this a lot and I definitely realised it. I barely noticed it on my wrist. Now we've got my good friend Minch. He's going to help us out. It's not hard to come up with the name Minch. And case size is just under 40 crown is six thickness or height is only 8.9 the lugs are 20 mil and then you've got the lug to lug isn't too long i don't think from experience yes yeah, 48 it's a really well proportioned watch so speaking of proportions let's put this on my wrist which is seven inches and you'll get an idea of how well this looks on my wrist and they do do a few 36 mil uh, watches which I really like the look of because I think it's more of a classic size. I mean, watches now just often get bigger and bigger. But I think sometimes, as you see, it's really well proportioned for my average wrist, seven inches. It's absolutely spot on. It's so light and so comfortable. I absolutely love how this feels on the wrist. So what do we get inside this watch? Well, the movement inside is a Japanese made movement. It's the Myota 2035 Quartz. There's no ghost position to speak of. It's literally um, time. There's no date functionality. It's just one click and then you adjust the time. That's it. And screw down crown. So that's really straightforward. You're going to get good battery life, good reliability and really good timekeeping with this kind of quartz movement and also affords for it to be as slim and light as it is. And you've got that grab and go fun aspect of this. This is a an everyday watch where you don't have to think about it, worry about it, you just slap it on and off you go. And that's what I like about it. And to add to that whole versatility of the timepiece is you've got AR coated sapphire glass, or crystal, sorry, it's actually crystal. And this is just so crystal clear, the AR coating helps it be so legible. This is a real glance and you can tell the time kind of timepiece, it's so easy. And I love the entirely brushed finish. Really nice brushing. Look at that lovely sunburst effect with the brushing on the back. So lovely. And it's a tall watch, so it just helps that it's so heavily brushed. But just to take the edge off, what they've done is there's a little... Excuse my thumb, by the way. I really badly cut it. If you haven't seen my other video, I waffle on about how I did it, but I'm okay. Uh, anyway, yeah, you've got on here, on this lovely bit of chamfer there, that bit there is polished, and that helps break up it looking too heavily brushed. The brushing is so smooth and well made. And my hands look disgusting. These are working hands, guys. And I'm a carpenter by trade. Look at the state of them. I can't go and get all my hands looking pretty for you, but <laughs> you're not here to look at my hands. You're here to look at this beautiful watch. Now, I've discussed the crystal and the stainless steel, the 316L. We've got the Myota quartz movement inside, which is keeping fantastic time, as you'd expect, of course, with a quartz. But the... Um, the thing that's good about this watch is it has loom on it and they haven't just slapped one layer on, they put five layers of loom on. And I've got another little party trick this has got, which I love, you don't see very often. I'm gonna show you now. I just love the loom on this. It, it really does pop and it holds its charge really well. But look, it's got a loomed logo. How cool is that? I just love that. I, I, I was smitten as soon as I saw that. It's these little details you get, even though it's quite a, plain watch in terms of its design what it does well is it covers all the bases and does them so so well this isn't the perfect watch i'm going to cover that a little bit later on there's one massive issue which i can live with but i've noticed it stumbled me a few times i wonder if any of you have spotted it already i know some of you are very astute and you probably have so let's turn the lights back on and carry on so i like the fact that this didn't have to have a screw down crown, but they did do it. So this gives it the 100 meters, which covers nearly all bases for most people. What they'd ever need to do with the watch, getting it wet, going in the sea, snorkeling, playing in the pool, going on holiday, all that stuff. 
you are not going to have to worry about the water getting in this watch. They have done rigorous testing and it's fantastic having a watch that's this, this versatile. And that's one of the main reasons why I love field watches and why I'm on the hunt for something that is my my version of perfect in terms of, of a field watch or this style of watch. And the reasons, what I'm going to move on to now is my likes and my dislikes because the likes I'll start with first. And that is because there's a lot of them and the dislikes, there's not many at the end and then I'll finish with the conclusion. But the likes are just how well it ticks the boxes for being a field watch. It's got that legibility, it's lightweight, it's thin, it's comfortable. It does everything you would ask it to do. It's gonna be accurate and reliable. It's got great loom, it's got screw down crown, it's got versatile quick easy strap changes. It's so legible and you've got the old brush finish so it's not going to be too uh, sparkly or shiny and it's got sapphire crystal with AR coating. It's so slim. I like all the tactile little details or the nice bit of text on the back and that sunburst effect with the brushing. It's, it's fantastic, really nice design. The fact that you also have a crown which is good size, proportional to the watch, and it has the logo engraved on there as well. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. And I also like that it's a micro brand company and they are small enough to put their absolute heart and soul into this without losing that magic, which is when you've got a smaller business, they are hands on with everything. And you can tell with how they develop their products. It's very hands on and very inclusive of the customer. They, they do get a lot of funding come in from Kickstarter campaigns and pre-orders. They're not relying on investors and shareholders outside of the customer base effectively. I know they've had investment from family and probably friends and they've done an amazing job. I, I am so impressed with these products. If this, if, any, if this is their entry level watch, I would love to see some of their more expensive automatic movement watches because they do do automatic watches as well. So I, I went for the entry level because I like this price point because I'm thinking value for money is where we're at here because we've got the excellent finishing and it's still a really good specification, but it's less than $200. This is $150. It's amazing value for money. I love the loom. I love the name, the logo. I love how clean and crisp all the design is. The, the fit and finish is perfect. There's not been a single flaw on here. I've not found any slightly scruffy um, brushing or any sharp edges, no fluff under the dial. It is fantastic build quality. So now I'm going to move on to my next like, and that is how versatile this is because of the colorway for strap changes. And I'm just going to do a quick bit of a business promotion here and slap it on my latest release, which I'm so proud of. And let's put it on there and show you how good this watch can look just by swapping out to so many different types of straps. Now this is kind of a bluey green color. And the reason why I went for this, because I like this fact that this is a contemporary yet older looking watch. And the beauty of it is, it's going to age up beautifully and they've got the cream stitching to match the color of the patina on here or the faux patina. It's just, I'm so pleased with this new strap line I've got and it suits this kind of watch so well. So as you probably guessed, I'm very smitten with this watch and I've had it long enough to let the novelty wear off a bit and I'm genuinely very, very impressed with this watch for me personally. It ticks so many boxes, but there's going to be a few little dislikes and for me, there's very few. One of them is I don't like this strap it came with. I could have spent extra to come with something else, but it was a lot more money. So I feel like that's a waste. I just don't get on with that, but that's personal taste. Um, I don't think it suits a silicone so much because of it's a field style watch. So that's just my personal taste. And then look at the difference in the hand lengths. It's good they're next to each other now. Look how close they are. They, because they're so similar and well, they're almost identical in design. They are identical in design. This one's only a few mil longer. And at a glance, sometimes I got you can get mixed up between the hour and the minute hands. That's what I noticed. Um, after that, I'm <laughs> believe it or not, I'm actually struggling. It's that good. So I'm being genuine here. I mean, I bought this with my money, and I've I've seen a lot of watches, and it's really hard to fault, especially at this price point. 
that's how impressed I am. I'm going to finish today's video. My conclusion is, I love this watch. Would I recommend it? Buy one now, definitely. Their customer service is incredible. They want feedback from me. Is no, I bought this for a review or anything like that. They are so professional with how they present their products online, how they communicate with the buyer. It's a quick delivery. Everything was a joy with this experience. And I'm going to finish this with a nice little montage I've put together of this watch when I've worn it out and about. And just to show you how much I enjoy it and how you can just get so much pleasure from such a good value watch, knowing it's been made by a company that have done everything from scratch and in only in a few years. So what an incredible achievement. And I look forward to sharing more of these little gems with you, um, which I find. I know this has been out a little while, but I've, I'm new to this and I'm very impressed. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Enjoy this little finale montage and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.